A whirlwind of energy and unstoppable force, destroying everything that falls in their path with no regard for the safety of others. No, not the cast of the Jersey Shore. Tornadoes. Tornadoes are powerful and quick. Their main threat of danger derives from the dust, debris and water that collects in the rotating air currents, the central eye being the most dangerous part. Their speeds vary from as little as 60 to over 500 kilometers an hour. The severity of a tornado's wind speed is measured on the internationally recognized Fujita scale, otherwise known as the F scale, introduced in 1971 by Tetsuya Theodore Fujita, otherwise known as TED. The typical tornado damage path is about 2 to 3 kilometers, with a width of around 50 meters, but have been seen as narrow as only 10 meters. The largest tornado path widths can exceed a full kilometer. The most powerful tornadoes are caused by air rising up from the ground into huge supercell thunderstorms. As wind speeds and directions change, they cause the air to rotate vertically. Like this! The rotating air creates a column of strong pull in the vortex, the middle of the storm. Initially, this column of air does not extend to the ground. But then... Under some circumstances, a tornado will develop below the cloud base and reach down to the ground to wreak havoc and mayhem beneath the storm. Doppler radars can detect when this is beginning to happen, so people who are scared can run, duck, or cover. There are four primary classifications of tornadoes, water spouts, land spouts, satellite tornadoes, and multi-vortex tornadoes. Water spout tornadoes happen over bodies of water. Obviously. Fair weather water spouts are the less dangerous and more common variety. They form near the bases of cumulus clouds and are pretty pathetic in terms of strength. Tornadic water spouts, by comparison, are much more dangerous, uncommon, and long-lasting. These are formed by severe thunderstorms. Land spout tornadoes are weak and short-lived. They have small funnels and may or may not reach all the way to the ground. Though they may collect dust and debris, they shouldn't be confused with dust devils. Satellite tornadoes are the weaker secondary tornadoes that form around their stronger, wider tornado counterparts. They earned their name by their nature of circling other tornadoes. Multi-vortex tornadoes. Multi-vortex tornadoes can have multiple air columns coming down from one central air mass. These are the highest intensity tornadoes, and they can do serious damage because they have multiple paths in which to travel, pick up debris, and cause destruction. Tornadoes occur in many countries around the world, all throughout the year three quarters of which touch down in the USA. And out of all of those, Kansas gets it worst. A broad belt extending northwards from Texas to Iowa known as Tornado Alley has seen them all. As tornadoes have been so difficult to truly understand, in an effort to learn more, over 100 researchers have become involved with the Vortex 2 project, the verification of the origins of rotation in tornadoes experiment. Two. The project involves deploying a flotilla of instruments across the Great Plains of North America, and when these people get wind of a tornado, they spring into action. The aim of the study is to chase down tornadoes and surround them with an unprecedented fleet of mobile radars and other cutting-edge tools in order to examine in detail how tornadoes form and the patterns of damage they cause. They also seek to develop better forms of measuring, hoping to find the widest spanning, longest lasting, and largest and smallest tornadoes of every kind. The smallest tornadoes in the world supposedly last only a few seconds and are just slightly more powerful than tornadoes that you can make at home. Here's one I made earlier.